Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We're just going to jump in and get started. Yes, you've seen it correctly. I am going to be reviewing the Tarte Tape Shape Foundation. I only picked up two because, I mean, let's just be honest, what's the point? I probably shouldn't even pick up these two, but we're just going to jump in and get started. There's not too much to say on this. Let's just jump in and get started. So the colors that I have are Deep Honey and Rich Sand. Um, I believe there is another one that's called Mahogany. And you guys already know that there's so much backlash um, in regards to this. Basically because it's non-inclusive um, to people of color. There's just, there's only three shades. Like literally three shades for people of color. And I have even went on to YouTube and I actually look at people who are not of color. I'm just going to say it that way. People who are not of color actually um, reviewed the foundation. Some people liked it and then even they didn't like it. So yeah, I'm just pretty I'm curious as to why Tarte only came out with three shades. Anyway, so let's just move on. This is supposed to be full coverage, long wear, oil free, and hyperallergenic. It says find your formula. So it comes in two different formulas one is hydrating, and then the other one is matte. So I have the matte um, two shades in Deep Honey and Rich Sand. Yeah, in Rich Sand. And it states that it minimizes pores and absorbs shine, vitamin E, which is nourishing to the skin, and no flaking or caking. So I am going to see if I can actually pull up the color chart. Let's see here. So... I'm just going to pull up the color chart on the matte since that's the color since I have the matte foundations and here are the shade ranges if you guys can see that and as you can see the three down at the bottom the three down at the bottom are the three um, that's just for people of color so it's not that many shade ranges and that's not good there the price is for $39 is what it retails for so even though there's so much backlash and everything I want to give this a fair shot and see how this is going to look on my skin complexion I even use the clean slate poreless primer to give this a shot because I don't want to just go off of everyone else's opinions and say hey this is a horrible foundation or whatnot but from what I can tell the color ranges is, is just gonna it's gonna be a no-go this one is deep honey and see guys the packaging is really really pretty here's the packaging deep honey and then the next one to that is rich sand so as you guys can see there are so many colors that can just go in between these two that they just miss. You can get easily probably four to five shades in between these two colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply Deep Honey. And this one, it doesn't even look that deep to me, but you know, packages can be definitely deceiving. Come on, really? Man. So the coverage, I mean, it's truly matte. I can definitely say that. I don't know if it's matte or ash. I don't know. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I took a break for about 10 minutes just trying to get this a benefit of the doubt and see if it will even oxidize, go darker, go do something, but it's not. On camera to me it's looking like Dijon mustard. That's what it looks like to me. And then off camera it looks like it's a peanut butter color. That's what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and move on with the color Rich Sand. Let's see if this could do better. It's almost like, I don't know, it's just, I don't think I've ever been at a shop like just speechless, honestly. So we already know this is going to be red and orange and I don't know, it's just, <laughs> I want to wear makeup too. No. What did, what did we do? Ooh, It literally looks like a mask. Nope. So, yeah, I guess, um, gonna wrap up this review here um since I don't know any one of these colors here literally I am just going to do this so you guys can see I'm hiding my address here I am just going to send this back I'm gonna send these back and they're not out in stores yet, if I'm not mistaken. I think it will be in Ulta on January 21st, but I can't do anything with these. There's no use for them. So yeah, I'm going to send these back tomorrow and stick with my NARS. I do have um, Bobbi Brown, the new Bobbi Brown foundation that's coming out. It wasn't in stock um, at Sephora, so I had to order it online um, on Monday. So I can't wait to try that foundation and do a review on that. I'm super excited to try that. I think I picked my right color like I did on the NARS foundation, so I've got my fingers crossed on that. But yeah, um, this is pretty much wraps up the review on the um, Tarte Tape Shape Foundation. Um, it's no shade to anybody else if you like it. If you found a color that matches you, that is great. That is awesome. But for me, and I'm pretty sure for a lot of other people of color, this is just unacceptable. It's a no-go for us. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, guys. So, I just got done filming. And I wanted to look at the foundation again. I'm just super, super shocked at how this foundation is looking. It is just... I don't know guys I think it's really super sad you know that's how it's looking it's just crazy yeah that is what that's looking like so talk to you guys later bye